Welcome to Subjective Insights. Today I'm going to put my profit hat on, right? Try and do some prognosticating. Um, socialism is inevitable, right? This is what a lot of people don't get about Marx. Is that, that Marx, he wasn't there saying to people, oh, you should overthrow capitalism. Um, come on, go and overthrow it. Go and do it, go and do it. I mean, he did in the Communist Manifesto. But there's an underlying theme and intent to his work that a lot of people miss. And that's that what he was doing was he was trying to describe exactly and minutely and accurately what capitalism was. And then by showing what it was, he could show out of its very own nature, it would cause its own downfall. Um, through, through the dialectical process of history. So, like, one of these things I've noticed is that, like, in, in process at the moment, in order for most of us normal people, the proletariat, to get money, we need to get wages, right? And the only time when, when we're given wages is when it is profitable for a member of the capitalist, capitalist class to pay us wages, right? If it is more profitable for them not to pay us wages or not to hire us and say hire cheaper immigrant labour forces or use robots and automation then that's what they're going to do um, so what the capitalist does because it is cheaper for him to use a machine rather than a man a lot of research a lot of effort and money has gone from the capitalist class into developing machinery to developing a capacity to perform work without the ne like necessity of man so what will happen as this goes on is uh, eventually there'll come a point where the capitalist class as a whole which owns the machines which now produce all the goods and have made mankind redundant um, the, ca the, the capitalist class as a whole will no longer need to hire people as, as the machinery develops and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that we're on the cusp right now of the point at which machines will just be able to totally take over what mankind does <clears throat> and so how are the proletariat going to get fed how are they going to get housed how's all that going to work hello hello it's a little dogger I'm assuming that's a girl and that's a boy. Both girls. Oh, that's judging on the on the ponytail. <laughs> Have a good day. Uh, so where was I? Yeah. So how will the proletariat get get food right, and, and all the necessaries for survival? Seeing as um, the capitalist class had used its ownership, its 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 property rights over the food and means of production, as leverage to get the proletariat to work for it. And now the capitalist class no longer needs the proletariat to work for it. What's going to happen? So one of two things can happen here, right? And, and bear in mind, uh, the socialist utopia, the socialist project is to bring about a kind of cashless, you know, moneyless, masterless kind of anarchic society in which everybody's equal. So as a result of this like, technological progress, which has been driven by the profit motive, there's no longer any need for them to like, exploit the proletariat. So what they, there's, there's one of two things that's going to happen, right? One is the proletariat gets pissed off and it, it goes and it takes away from the capitalist the property uh, and, and kind of gives it to itself. Um, and they'll do that violently or peacefully. Uh, and, and the time at which they're going to have to do this is going to have to be before we go over the cusp where technology totally makes man redundant. Could we still have... Yes, the capitalist class has leverage over us. They have property rights on the means of production, you know, things that produce food and housing. And they're in control of the police force to enforce those property rights. But as long as we're needed, the very fact that they, they, they've, they've done all that that they do all that means they need us and because they need us we have leverage and we can use that at the moment to go and stop the capitalist class from taking to themselves the 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 the, the machines and then saying like saying to us that they'll, they'll, they'll be sat behind their robot army 
and now I'll be like to the rest of us, well, you can just fuck off and die and starve for all I care. And then um, what will happen there is the capitalist classes, the, 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 as the generations go onwards, onwards, they would be the ones that enjoy the, the socialist utopia and not us. So um, what's up for grabs in terms of the future uh, isn't so much whether or not there's going to be a socialist utopia, it's who's going to get to enjoy it and whose children are going to get to enjoy that. Because um, you, you can see that, that the capitalist ruling elite class uh, and, and their family kind of set up as being the perfect way to, to set off communism. Anyway, goodbye.